if that's worth keeping. Really not. Small little cutthroat. Let him go. So I moved to pretty much just underwater footage because I didn't honestly have that good of luck with fish actually biting. Um, I, and even the one kokanee I caught actually wasn't on camera because my camera overheated. So that just kind of figures. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we have just a bunch of underwater footage that I thought was kind of cool. I uh, figured I'd share that. And we have one takedown by a, you know, normal sized cutthroat. Uh, so yeah, enjoy. heavy but it could just be because I also have a camera on. Throat. I might just keep that. That must be what I'm seeing down there a little deeper. Here's the cutty. Well, <clears throat> alright, well I fished Kavanaugh this morning and <laughs> I don't know. I got one like good kokanee and one like whatever cutthroat. Man, I don't know what my deal is. Maybe I'm just a bad kokanee angler, man. I don't know. I just do not have good luck with uh, kokanee fishing. I Like, for some time now, it seems, I've just have not been doing well with kokanee fishing. And I gotta say, it's really frustrating. Because, <laughs> I don't know. You can do the same thing when that you were successful with in prior years, and then it just doesn't work. Tried all sorts of different equipment, gear, depth, speeds, you name it. And I just could not get a, a bite going. Get back to the launch and there's a very kind gentleman, uh, taught, you know, mentions that he's he's got nine kokanee in the boat, man. Of course, he fished the one part of the lake that I didn't fish. Uh, so, you know, that could be it. You know, maybe I was just in the one spot you know, not in the one spot where the fish were. So, ah, anyway, it's a beautiful day. I can, can't really complain. I got to get out on the water, got to fish. It's awesome. It, it is, it really is, but can't pretend that I'm not frustrated that I didn't get into more fish. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm looking forward to getting out to Baker. I'll be out there next week for just one day, and then I'll be out there probably off and on 
here and there, and then uh, you probably out for the Chinook opener, uh, a little bit of crabbing here and there, stuff like that. So uh, my wife has a new work schedule, so it makes things a little trickier this year for me to get out and, and fish as much as I did last year. Uh, but you know, that's life. So <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, until next time, tight lines.